Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is the sides of a right angle triangle containing the right angle are 5x cm and 3x minus 1 cm. Calculate the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle if its area is 60 cm square. So this is our question and our solve this. So for this question, first we draw the right angle triangle. So let this is our right angle triangle. So let's name it A, B, C. So in the question it is given right angle triangle containing the right angles. So that means this is the right angle and two lines are um, uh, containing the right, right angle that is AB and BC. So their lengths are given one is 5x cm and 3x minus 1 cm. So here 5x and here 3x minus 1. So therefore now you can write that the area, you can find out the area by this that this is a high and this is a base. So we know the formula of area half into base into height. So half into base is about 3x minus 1 and height is about 5x. So half into 5x into 3x that is 15x square minus 5x minus 1 that is 5x. It becomes 15x squared minus 5x divided by 2. And in the question, it is also given that the area is 60 cm square. So that means in this side, you can write the area that is 60. So now we take this to this side. So 2 into 160, it will become that is 120 is equals to 15x square minus 5x. So now we take all the numbers to the left side. So first, 15x square. If we take it to this side, it will write it. 15x square minus 5x is equal to 120. So first, um, just we have um, rotated the numbers. So now we will take this 120 to this side. So 15x square minus 5x. And now this 120 as it is there in plus here. So it goes for minus this side, 120. So now therefore you can go for the quadratic equation. So now to solve this quadratic equation first, 120 into 15 you have to do. 120 here and 120 15. So 120 into 15, it will become 1800. So now we have to prime factorize this 1800. So let's do it. 1800 first two, 900 again by 2, 450 again by 2, 225. Now by 5, first 45 again by 5. 9 then 3 into 3 so now we have to break this number of minus 5x in such a number that if we plus or minus it it will become minus 5x and if we multiply the, that number it will become 1 uh, 1 8 0 0 so here easily can get these numbers so 5 into 3 into 3 so what it becomes 45 that is equals to 45 so therefore 45 we get and here 5 to the 10, 10 to the 20, 20 to the 40. So therefore here we get 40 and here we get 45. So easily now 15x so square minus 45x. No, you write plus 45x. No, no, minus 45x only. Plus 40x minus 120 is equals to 0. So now you can see that minus 45x plus 40x. So that will become minus 5x only. And if we multiply both these numbers, it will get 1800. So now we get the equ um, quadratic equation in simplified form now. So now here from here we take 15x as common. So from here x remains minus. So 15, 3 is a 45. So now plus 40 take. We take plus 40 as common. Now x is remaining minus. So 120 divided by 40 that is equals to 3. So equals to 0. So now x minus 3x minus 3 take as common. So remaining is 15x plus 40. So either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or we can write 15x plus 40 is equal to 0. So here minus 3 is there so as it will go to this side it will become plus 3. 
so x is equals to 3 and here 15 x is equals to plus 40 that is a minus 40 and x is equals to minus 40 by 15 so here you can see that this number is in positive but this is in negative so how much you will divide it it will come in negative only but we know that we are finding out the hypotenuse so hypotenuse cannot be negative so therefore the value of x needs to be positive so from here we can easily find out the length of these two sides that is 5x and 3x minus 1 so we are, will proceed by taking the value of x as 3 so therefore first side that is 5x so 5 into 3 that is equal to 15 centimeter and second side that we have taken as 3x minus 1 so 3 into 3 minus 1 so 3 3 is a 9 minus 1 that is equal to 8 centimeter so these are final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution